have with each other. Are we live? Hello, 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 my crafty friends. Welcome to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. Guys, it is Wednesday. It's 1.30 p.m. We're at craft camp. How are you guys doing today? This is day three of craft camp. Happy Wednesday, everyone. As you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. Hello, Becky. Hey, Jen, Angie, Patty, Patty, Alexis. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my goodness. So glad that you all are here with me today. We have had a whirlwind of the past few days here at Craft Camp. Y'all know I've been doing live streams pretty much every other week. So for doing four in a row, I'm a little tired. I don't know about you guys. There's a lot to take in to celebrate the new machines. We've been testing out all kinds of fun stuff. We've been cutting vinyl. We've, we've been having a lot of fun here. I don't know about you guys, but the fun does not want to stop today. We're not gonna let the fun stop today. We have a fun project to make together. Um, we are gonna have a lot of fun sharing five of my favorite summer Cricut projects. These are some that you can make today. So I'm so excited. Uh, Carol says, check out the Makers Gonna Learn font uh, Patriot for Fourth of July crafts. Yes, we have some Fourth of July crafts that you're gonna be able to make today. So today's live stream is obviously still um, talking about the new machine, talking about some of our favorite Makers Gonna Learn projects, because I've seen a common occurrence of like, Tanner, I love these live streams and I don't want it to stop. So a lot of these projects that we've pulled actually have um, complimentary training if you're a member. So I'm so excited to share with you guys all about these projects. They're going to be so much fun um, and it is amazing. So if you guys are just tuning in, let us know if you have not grabbed your membership. Now y'all, yesterday was a great day. I think it was record um, for the week of how many new members we had joined the crafting community. So if you have not grabbed a membership to makersgonnalearn.com, today is your day. Okay, my friends, you do wanna grab your membership. The sale, our summer sale ends tomorrow after the live. So tomorrow at midnight, this sale is gonna be over. You do not wanna miss out on getting your membership. It is using the coupon code MAKE at checkout, M-A-K-E, for $20 off that best value year membership. When you grab your year membership, as you all know, um, you get some amazing resources. I'm talking thousands of cut files, instant access, instant download, hundreds of fonts, courses like you'll never believe to master your machine. You get resource guides and so many other resources. Now, we have quite a few friends here and I cannot wait to share about our giveaway. But before I do, if you're an active member to Makers Gonna Learn, will you go ahead and drop me an emoji? Will you drop an emoji if you are a member? Let us know in the comments because there may be some friends here that are saying, I don't know if the membership is right for me. I'm on the fence. But um, yes, the membership is that you need to have. Exactly, I love it, I love it. Um, you guys are awesome. Just watched Becca's video on the camp flag, how fun. I'm going to start my membership tomorrow, so excited. Yay, we cannot wait for everybody. Look at all these emojis popping up, I love it. So guys, as you can see from all of these beautiful emojis, that you will definitely have an amazing community and fellow members once you say yes to membership. And that decision is on you, my friends. So do not miss out on all the benefits, the commercial use license, the Facebook group, so you can really get to know your fellow members, the cut files, the member only videos, the courses, we have so much. I mean, I love all of the emojis right now, y'all. It is so good, active member. I'm a two year old yearly member, yay, I love it. It's so worth it. So my friends, if you're on the fence, it's linked down below, it's linked here in the comments. You are going to love it um, when you say yes to membership. So what I wanna share now is our Cricut Maker giveaway. Now my friends, Today's the last day to actually make sure you're commenting on every day's video, right? So you've got to comment on Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays video. If you've been attending and watching, whether it's live or recorded for these four days, um, three days, you will have everything you need 
for it. Um, so Sunday to Wednesday, that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So those four videos and then 9 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. tomorrow, EST, you will have the opportunity to find out the winner of the Cricut um, machine giveaway. So I'm so excited. You'll have 24 hours to claim your prize. So definitely let us know. I love seeing all of the ones posting uh, how long they have been following and been a member. I love it. So yes, if you're considering membership, Courtney is behind the camera. She is going to pull out any questions you have regarding membership today, because today's video is definitely a Q&A. We are making a project. We're going to recreate this one and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I cannot wait. Again, comment on every single day's video and then join us tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern for the live stream where we are doing sublimation and we're announcing the giveaway winner. So woohoo, four month member, Makers and Learners CG me so much. Can't thank you enough. Uh, Asides from downloads, SVGs, what are the other benefits um, to someone who has already mastered their machine? I love that question, my friend. So you said, asides from the downloads, what do I get, right? So obviously the thousands of cut files is a big deal. The hundreds of fonts is a huge perk, like that could pay for the membership of its own. But let me share with you some other things that you may get since you already say like Tanner, I can rock the machine, right? So more things that you get is our commercial use license. You're gonna be able to get access to that to make and sell things with your machine using our artwork, that's huge. You also get access to our member only Facebook group. And I like to talk about that because if you're a professional crafter, you or you know, you've mastered your machine, like you said, you do not want a community of people that are, you know, always starting from the beginner stage. Because I understand you may have some more complex questions. You're getting access to our member only Facebook group that has very much fellow advanced crafters just like yourself in the community. So you're able to get some really great responses when you have those questions appear, whether you're wanting to test things out. Again, it's like a big family, a big community. Community, so you're going to be able to plug in and offer help to others, but you're also going to be able to get help from crafters at your uh, proficiency level. It's not just beginners here, and that's what I love. So um, that's a great question. Now, Miss Emily says, what is the difference between make Cricut Access and Makers Gonna Learn? Before we jump into that, I do want to share with you um, something that's big at Makers Gonna Learn, if you are already an amazing crafter, is that we have so much access to trend spotting, to curating collections, and we stay on the pulse of a lot of trends. So that's a huge thing that you're going to get every single week with those collections where other communities may not have as much. Now again, big difference. We've had this question from Emily. She says, um, hey, what's the difference from Cricut Access and Makers Gonna Learn? So in Cricut Access, it's like Netflix for crafting. You're gonna get access to thousands of cut files. They're not giving you the member only videos we get. Most of these videos here on the table has a video to correspond with the project. Here at Makers Gonna Learn, we're all about three things education, motivation, and inspiration. We give you the inspiration to make you want it. We give you the education to show you can do it. And we give you the motivation to actually take action. Because as you guys know at home, there's a big difference between watching a video and actually feeling accomplished enough from the video that to think you could do it and actually taking that action. I like to throw that out there just because I, as a fellow crafter, can watch videos for days, but it's all about that one video that makes me want to get up and take action. And that's what it's all about, my friends. So yes, with our membership, any cut file you download, you get to keep forever. If you've downloaded it, it's on your computer, you cancel your membership next year, you still have that cut file to show for the money invested. That's huge. That's unlike any um, of Cricut Access. You get the member only community, you get the member only projects, the member only videos, and these are all bonuses on top of the YouTube videos. So in addition, you're also getting amazing resources. You're getting our 30 day challenge. You're getting our reference guide. So many amazing benefits. So I love it. I love it. All makers gonna learn doesn't just guide you, they teach you. That's an amazing quote. Thank you so much. Um, yes, get responses to questions in the Facebook group very quickly. Courtney, can you let me know the name of our friend who donated the $5? Thank you so much, my friend. Um, you are so sweet. So thank you so, so much. 
Tammy Brown, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. So guys, again, be leaving your comments so that you can get your Cricut Maker. We're announcing the giveaway tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern on that live show. Uh, Cheryl says, I'm so glad I purchased my yearly membership yesterday. I love everything you guys provide in the membership. So yes, I'm so excited. Welcome, 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 Cheryl. I love it. Would a membership serve a calligrapher? I use my Cricut mainly for cutting my lettering. Do you have background designs or floral art files? So, um, yes, we do have all kinds of different cut files, different patterns. We're getting really big into sublimation. So I think a lot of our sublimation things like watercolors and things like that, that'll be coming out shortly would complement really well with what you're doing. So if you don't like the, you know, need as many fonts, we have a lot more patterns and backgrounds and print and cuts that I think you could take a lot of advantage of. So that's a great question. Really can't stress how important the 30 day challenge is for members. It'll save you months of stress and confusion. Yay! I love it, love it, love it, love it. Well guys, what are we doing today at Craft Camp? So again, we do have the brand new Cricut Maker 3 here with us. So I'm going to give today's live stream a lot more importance to address your questions across the board. Today we do have five different projects to share with you. These are some of my favorite summer Cricut projects that you can take action and start making today. These are all amazing. They're all on the table. I'm talking we have paper projects that you're going to adore, to home decor like this rainbow doormat, to um, some really great tricks that we have in the membership. This tutorial right here is blowing me away. So we'll talk, we'll kick it off and kind of go ahead and talk about this. So here at Makers Gonna Learn, every single week, you're getting a new collection of artwork on Thursdays. Thursdays is our big release day. We love Thursdays. Um, but what you're getting is amazing artwork every single Thursday, which we love. So uh, this is one of our images that we have, great for sublimation. But what we did for this project, my friends, is we actually use print and cut and we printed the fabric on the printer. So we didn't sublimate this. This is actually using Cricut um, and Cricut Design Space. We used it to set this up and successfully be able to print on fabric straight from our machine. And Rachel gives you a member only video teaching you exactly how to do that. And that's one of my favorite things about the membership. So yeah, the pillow is amazing and it is so, so good. Uh, Miss Betsy, since you are not a yearly member, you do not get access to those books yet, but I see that you want to be a year member, yay! And then let me share with Miss Betsy. She says, hey, I just joined, but I'm a little confused about downloading um, and working with those zip files. So hold on one second. Let me share with you how you can go ahead and you know get to your zip files. Welcome new to Cricut, I love it. Um, so let's see right here. So say you're on a cut file page. So we're going over to a cut file page and then we can scroll down. And let's say we want to, you know, use the Vintage Camper, right? So we're going to click the download button for the Vintage Camper. And we've downloaded it, so it's now downloaded in that zip file. So this is the file we're going to work with. All right, so we just click that download button. You can click this download button. You can scroll down and click this download button. All you need to do is download it. And then what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to click on it. So the zip file, this works really fast, so I'll do it a few times. Um, you're gonna click on the Vintage Camper, and then bam, all right, bam, that's it. It's unzipped. So this is what it looks like before. To the right, I've highlighted it, and then this is what it's going to look like after, okay? See the difference? See the difference? Love it. So now you're gonna click on the blue, the blue folder. You're getting a PNG and an SVG. So now we're going to go down here to Cricut Design Space and we're going to click Upload, click Upload Image, and we're going to drop that SVG file down. All right. Love the vintage cut files. Yes, they're so fun. Um, so you can upload that. And then look here, Miss Betsy, that is how easy it is to take your cut file from Makers Gonna Learn and get it right here into Cricut Design Space with ease very quickly. 
So look at this, I love it. Now do you see all these different layers here, my friends? This means you could actually cut this out of paper. It'd be really, really fun to cut this out of paper. But if you're lazy like me, um, I'm gonna share with you a hack. And Courtney wanted you guys to know that you could change the colors. So say you wanna change like this, you know, little yellow piece right here. Be like, eh, I don't know. Maybe I want it to be, you know, a blue or, you know, blue here. You could easily go through and be able to modify this to make it look totally different. That's one thing I love about our cut falls is that you can kind of play around with it and easily modify this so that you can have something super, super unique. So do you see how I'm doing that, my friends? Um, and then you would just come down here Let's paint, change the pink too. So if we don't want a pink one, you know, what if we wanted to do like a little green or something? So this is a totally different camper now. That's a totally different vibe, right? So it's totally different um, and it's super easy. But say that you don't want to have to cut this out now because these are a lot of layers. Let me share with you one button that is gonna turn all these layers into something amazing, all right? All you need to do is select this right here and then down at the bottom, you're gonna have the flatten button. Who has used flatten? Let me know in the comments. If you're brand new to Cricut, this is going to make it so good because this is gonna take something from, let me see how many mats this would be. If we click make it, this would be, we're gonna use on the mat. Y'all, this, this could be, let me see. Oh, Teresa, I can't wait for you to be a member. So this would be over 12 mats. It would be right at 12 mats. But look, we've selected this. And then once you click flatten down here, so we've selected all the layers, we click flatten. Look at this right here. All of this is now one beautiful print and cut image that we were able to customize and then we were able to flatten. So that's what I love about our cut falls, my friends, is that we were able to customize the image and then we were able to flatten. So if we click make it, you'll see now that we're using on the map. Look at this, my friends. So we have now went down to three of these layers. Sometimes I forget about flatten, me too. So look, now we've been able to do this very easily. You guys are going to love it. And if you're saying, Tanner, I just learned something, guys, that's what you get in the membership. We are gonna walk you through all the secret Cricut hacks that you may not even think about. And you don't have to have the newest machine, you just have to have a machine that you are going to be able to enjoy um, that works with Cricut Design Space. So Cricut Explore, Cricut Explore Air, Cricut Explore 3, any of those, Maker, what it doesn't matter. Um, Manda says, I'm going to get my yearly membership in a few, woohoo, welcome soon to be member. I'm somewhat new to Cricut, I bought my first machine in December and just started using it in March. Hoping Maker's Gonna Learn can help me get my business started. Yes, we totally can with our yearly membership. You get that commercial use license. So woohoo, I love it. Aw, Daniela's finally getting to catch a live. I always watch at night because of work hours. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I love that you all are enjoying the flatten tool because that's such a that's a great one. So yay, so, so much fun. Courtney just linked you an RV fall, Miss Carrie. Um, so that's awesome. So what I love is, oh, Me Megan says, when I got my Cricut, I struggled for two months before I found Maker's Gonna Learn. Now, two years later, I can rock just about anything. Seriously, the membership is a lifesaver. So yay. Um, Deb, can you say how you to do that again? So my friend, we're going to select the SVG, um, you could, I like to size it down just right out of the gate, down to six inches. And then what we're going to do is you see all these layers right here, we select it and we click flatten. So yay, and then look at that, flatten down to one layer. Guys, it should be, it should be considered cheating, it's that easy, right? So I love it. So there we go, and it is so much fun, all right. So we're gonna make this project here shortly, but I have more projects to share. So Courtney, could I have the second camera, the overhead? Yay! Okay, my friends, I wanted to show you this on the second camera. 
because this is amazing. And if you become a member today, you're going to be able to get this right here as a member only video. Um, it is so much fun. Trisha says, Tanner, I love your videos. So if I join your membership, would that be instead of paying for Cricut Design Space? So Cricut Design Space is completely free. Um, you do not have to have a Cricut Access membership to use it. Um, so you could have both, or if you make all of our projects, you wouldn't need their cut files. So yes, you could cancel, but that is up to you. Um, so yay, I love it. Um, and that is awesome. So anyway, here's what you get in this member only. We're teaching you how to use one of our cut files in Cricut Design Space and print on fabric. So you get this full how-to video, how we attached it, how we printed it, what the tips and tricks are to actually printing on fabric. It's amazing. So again, if you're saying, Tanner, um, I'm ready to unlock this in all the thousands of cut files, you definitely want to grab your membership today for $20 off using the coupon code make it checkout. So uh, Courtney dropped that link. Join the membership like Monica did yesterday. She bought her maker a few months ago, unboxed it and still haven't used it. I think I'm ready now. Monica, I'm so excited. I hope you come back tomorrow night and say, hey, I got my machine unboxed and I've already started using it. So that's our goal um, because you can start the 30 day challenge. So, so much fun. You can, it's sectioned out day by day, um, but you can kind of say I've unboxed the machine. I've been able to understand design space. I've got my terminology. I'm understanding design space even more. I'm learning how to work with my cut files. I'm working with fonts. I'm getting a deeper dive into design space. We're getting tools and understanding these terminologies. What, what's heavy cardstock? I just call it paper. Um, what are these cutting mats you may need? Why do you need rubbing alcohol? You know, what is vinyl? We answer all those things. We teach you how to work with the vinyl. There's so many fun ones. So yay, Monica's gonna be here tomorrow. I love it. I love it. Tammy says, I have the Maker. I'm possibly considering getting the Explore 3, or would you suggest the Maker 3? Is there a great deal of difference? Um, there isn't a huge difference in the machines, but I would probably go Maker 3 if I'm upgrading, unless the $100 would be a make it or break it for you. So Christina says, never knew you could print on fabric. Yes, we we did it with Cricut Design Space. So this is project number one. I'm super excited for you guys to be able to rock this project. So I love it. And all of you get the digital book so you can have it printed out and things like that. So that is amazing. Um, so, so much fun. And then let me share with you guys now, um, let's talk about the mandalas. So the mandalas are so fun. So this right here, and Courtney, you can direct me if I need to bring it up closer, what I should do. Okay, let me bring it closer just for you, for you guys at home so you can see it just a little bit better. Um, this is a layered mandala, and I absolutely love these. So again, it's so easy to use these um, with Cricut Design Space. Like, you upload our file, and it's gonna have everything laid out for you. Um, and it is super, super fun. So in this, you get a lot of great um, layers. It's very complex. So a lot of you guys that are saying, hey Tanner, I really, really, really want to be able to do more complex projects. I see so many, you know, basic cut files and things like that. Um, but what you want to do is definitely check out some of our mandalas like this. So Courtney, if you could share the screen, I want to share with you guys all the other ones we have too. So this is a card. So what I was just showing was a card. If you look under collections, look down here at the shadow box and 3D mandalas. So there's a lot of ways to use the 3D mandalas and the shadow boxes together. Um, so we have the card. So this right here is a video Becca has to teach you exactly how to make the mandala unicorn shaped card, which is a member only video if you say yes to membership today. And the unicorn is 3D. So each of those are built and it is so much fun. Um, we give written steps and everything. So it is so good and it's awesome. But let me share with you some other mandalas that you would be able to rock yourself. So right here, you get to see all of these. 
So some of at the top have the beach shadow box, the bird shadow box, and hot air balloon, the mandala cat, the mandala coffee cup, the cross, the elephant, the heart. The paw print is honestly one of my favorites. Um, the mandala unicorn, which she was able to take the mandala unicorn and use it on the card, which is really fantastic. I love, love, love um, breaking that down. You could do the mountain shadow box. And then what we've also been able to provide you guys with is just the typical shadow box to kind of work with your own type of deal. And then the under the sea shadow box. So, so, so much fun. And it is really, really awesome. So, yay. Um, you can check this out. I'm going to pull up the paw print. So again, this is really fun, really easy. And again, let me share with you guys how you can easily download the cut file, watch Becca's video and make the card too. So look, look at how easy it is to get this cut file in Cricut Design Space, okay? So we're gonna go back. We're gonna undo the mandala paw print. So we unzipped it and then we're gonna drag and drop this SVG. Awesome. Woohoo! I'm taking so many notes when I watch the course in the membership. I'm so glad I'm a yearly member. Woohoo! Never leaving. I love it. So once we upload that, you can see right here, we can insert that. So this is fantastic. And then look at this. Oh my goodness. We have samples Courtney grabbed. So this is all laid out in Cricut. Like you just pop it in, size it for what you want. And then you have your layers. This is really easy. You just go color by color. That's the hardest part. We say when making these mandalas, the hardest part is picking out your colors. Okay. We love it. The hardest part is picking out your colors. So there's that. And then Courtney, if I can have that second camera screen, look at this. So this is what adventure awaits, you know, kind of like the um, one that would coordinate with that collection we have. This is just again, layer after layer, um, being able to be adhesed. We use foam dots on every layer. So you can see it separates it and it looks very 3D. And this one is not in a shadow box. But if you look, this is what it looks like if you do use a shadow box. Um, and this is all, you know, the one color. And then this is what it would look like with colors. And then this one, Look at this. So you're able to do it on a card. So what that looks like is kind of taking away, you know, the full shadow box. And instead of doing just the shadow mm -hmm. box, we made it into an adorable, adorable card. So check that out. What do you guys think about that? I love it. I love it. I love it. I gift the membership to myself on my birthday every year. Yay, Michelle just joined. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And yes, CC, we are about to make something. I just have to go over some of my favorite projects right now. So we're so excited at, here at Craft Camp. So those are some great things. I wanted to give these some special time on the live because I don't think I've been able to make one of these on a live lately. Um, it just didn't, hasn't fit in the schedule. So I may you know, walk with you guys through making one of these um, on a live stream. So this would be really good. So anyway, next up we have these adorable, we have another adorable paper project. Now, a lot of you guys say, Tanner, I'm always looking for 3D projects. Like who, I feel like 3D projects are kind of amazing, like very amazing. So this is a great little thing to have as a party favor. Um, and you could use this for whatever holiday you want. So we have it set up for the 4th of July, right? We have it for the 4th of July. Think about using it for your kid's birthday party theme. Think about using it for Halloween. I'm totally gonna do this for Halloween. Like this would be perfect. Um, and it's really awesome. So Makers Gonna Learn offers the 3D cut fall, right? The 3D cut fall. We offer you the print and cut stickers. These boxes are fantastic. Absolutely love it. Um, and these are really, really fun. So this one is in, I believe, let me see what collection this one is in real quick. So I think this is a vintage summer. Oh, patriotic. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Let me grab 
patriotic because one thing I love about patriotic is the variety of projects. So let's go ahead and share the patriotic collection on the screen. So this right here is patriotic. Now you may be saying, Tanner, I'm just becoming a member. Where do I go to see these projects organized so well? All you want to do is click on member only projects and you'll get to choose from a lot of our latest collections. So yay, I love that. Um, and then look right here. Four amazing projects with some amazing cut files. Um, Courtney, how many friends do we have hanging out with us today? 336. 336. Welcome, 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 everyone. I love it. So you can see the Easy Custom Ice Cream Cone wrappers. These are amazing. You can see Rachel's project we just featured. You can see this adorable project I was just holding in my hand. And then Becca even teaches you some great ways to style a tiered tray. You guys do not want to miss that video. So all the all four of these have videos to coordinate with that. So look at this right here. You're going to learn how to make your very own patriotic party favor. You can get this wrap right here for your ice cream cones. Um, we have that all linked right here. Super, super fun. All the cut falls needed. And then this video is actually kind of crazy because Becca turns two coordinating cut files into a print and cut. So she work, walks with you using the sugar cone, Rachel. Your Rachel, using the star and the firework pattern to make an amazing project. So it's so good. She gives you all the design space hacks and everything like that. So look right here. I'm just gonna give you a sneak into a member only video because this is super fun. So she actually teaches you how all the process would work to set that up and make it a print and cut. So, all right, so much fun, love that one. And then look down here, my friends, all these patriotic ones, you can make your kids some adorable shirts from these cut falls, um, established 1776, I love it. Um, and then you can see, oh my goodness, my patriotic heart beats red, white, and blue. Um, the patriotic words, so adorable. You could cut this up and turn it into different, uh, you know, little, things as well. So this has like, you know, what, like five or six different cut falls technically in one cut fall, my friends. This is fantastic. Um, we love that. So yay. Super awesome. So, so many. You've got the star pattern. You've got the song sheet. Um, the truck is a big one. We have this truck with so many different um, cut falls and you guys absolutely um, amazing. So they need to join and find out themselves. Yes, we're not giving you all, all the secrets about the member only videos because you do have to find them as soon as you join. Um, but you will definitely love these extra resources we have. So that's the patriotic. And then we are super, super excited to also share with you um, this right here. So this is the Let's Stay Home project. And this one is just stenciling with your Cricut. So today at summer camp, we're actually going to be stenciling together um, and we're using this same frame process. So being a yearly member, you get to learn how to make our wooden frames. These are so much fun. You get a whole course. It comes with a 26 page workbook with photos on how to make this um, frame. And then we're actually using a different type of backing. So we're using um, just slabs of wood to kind of make a great little look that's a little bit more farmhouse and it's going to be awesome. So I'll teach you how easy it is to do that. Um, but to build these frames, you can actually learn that being a yearly member and the year membership is on sale today for $20 off. And the sale ends tomorrow at midnight. Tomorrow at midnight, my friends, you definitely want to hurry and grab your membership before it's too late um, for this awesome sale. And then if I could have the main camera, I want to, cause we've got to get into our project today. We have spent a lot of time chatting. Um, this is another fun one. So this is a stenciled uh, doormat. This is one Becca made. It is so fun. It's doing the umbrella and she has a whole technique on how to set up your rainbow. So you definitely have got to check that out as well. And it is so much fun. Is there a video to show us how to do a cut fall like one of yours that you just showed start to finish? So all the cut falls have, each collection has four member only videos to coordinate with it that I kind of shared with you. So you would check that out. And yeah, these projects are so fun. So she painted this 
and then she just stenciled the high on it so it was really fun i love her hack on creating and setting up the rainbow so that is so so much fun i need to get crafting and stop thinking how hot it is outside i love that that's amazing but okay my friends who's ready to build and make an amazing 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 project so here's what we've got today what you're going to need is an arrow gun stapler this is fantastic you're going to need your paint brushes you're going to need your slabs of wood and guys the secret here is you can use really thin plywood you can actually buy pieces of wood about this size at the craft store super easy and then we painted that white and we've already stained our frame so guys, one thing I love is that a lot of you have said, Tanner, I want to grow my crafting business. I want to be able to make, I want to be able to sell. But a lot of you may not be able to compete with Hobby Lobby frame prices, right? They're expensive. Let me share with you how you're able to make your own in our frame master class. That is completely free when you say yes to your year membership. Okay, my friends, you're getting 10 courses, 10 start to finish courses of working with felt, building your frames, mastering your Cricut. We're gonna make you really well-rounded crafters, as Rachel says, and it is so much fun. So you can learn how to do that. Very simple power tools, very simple cuts, um, and you're able to rock it. So definitely check that out. I have great tips on the practice of staining, sealing, stuff like that in the course, all right? So we're gonna lay that flat. If I can have the overhead camera, this is the back of our frame right here. Um, could I have that overhead camera? Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, so this right here is our pieces. Now again, we cut these ourselves. You could cut these yourself as well, very thin plywood. Um, and we painted one layer. I want it to look very, um, you know, not so clean, not so perfect. And then you're just going to set this up right here, all right? And then as you hold all four of these, you just want to kind of double check that nothing looks bad. Oops. Okay, so you just want to double check how all that's looking. Try to make it as straight as possible. And then once you've set that up, super easy. Now that you've set this up right here, you're going to be able to take your pair of arrow fastener staple gun. I love this stapler, my friends. It is so, so much fun um, and it's really awesome. So we're just going to staple and then staple. Whoops. All right, so once we've been able to staple that, um, we make sure to use staples that are going to go um, through the wood. Look at this frame, my friends. This is something you would pay 35 to maybe $40 for at the craft store. It's kind of ridiculous how much you pay for it and you're able to build this yourself. So this is really easy, really, really simple. And today, the next step is that we're going to cut our vinyl. So let me share with you what we've got going on over in Cricut Design Space. Because if you've been following along the show today, you know we already have this project set up and it is super, super fun. So we've measured the frame. So the frame of this right here, um, you have the sizing. So it's a little bit, um, you know, right at nine inches, nine by nine. So we have went ahead and set this up. So what we're going to do, and this is, you know, what we do here at Makers Gonna Learn, is we like to set it for, oops, the size that we have to work with. So it's actually nine, right at nine by nine. And then we like to place this right here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit larger, not too big. So what we're doing is we have the cut file we're using, which is called um, Outdoorsy. Um, it's from our Outdoorsy collection and it's awesome. And then we have the size of the frame, okay? Um, and it's really awesome. So we've measured the inside that we have to work with and then we take the cut file of our choice and we place it on the inside. All right, so you could go just like that. Shiplap, oh my gosh, Monica. 
I've been trying to think of shiplap the entire time. Thank you so much for commenting that. Sugar and Spice, if you're scared to use your Cricut, be sure to join the year membership. You are going to love it. It's going to definitely help you rock your machine. But now that we have the cut fall selected, we have the size of our uh, frame. What we're going to do is select both of these layers. We're going to click align and we're going to align center. Centered it up. And then what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go ahead and have it um, create us a weeding box because we are making a stencil. All right, we're using paint. We wanna make this look super finished so that you can really be selling this for 40 and $50, right? So we're going to click attach. Ta-da! We've attached it. Now, another way to do this exact process would be to go back and select both layers and click slice. Sometimes in Cricut, there's two or three ways to get the same exact result. So what we've been able to just do real quick is create a stencil. This right here is going to go through, cut, we are going to weed the inside pieces, and then we are going to apply the stencil into our frame. All right, super easy. Let's click make it. This right here, guys, are we using the mat? Are we not using the mat today? Should I use Cricut vinyl? I don't know. Well, yesterday we went and used regular vinyl. Should we just use a mat today? Oh, I've got my paper trimmer. We can cut. So guys, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, watch it because you're going to love it. Um, I'm going to share with you how to set this up um, for you to have a great cut. So we're going to cut our a uh, regular vinyl. We're using Starcraft permanent adhesive. It is crazy. Super awesome. Um, today we're going to use that and we are going to cut it at 13 inches. A little bit less than 13 inches is what the best way to do. So the hack here is like a little, like a hair less than 13 inches. Okay. All right. So right at a little bit less than a, a sliver and then cut. So this is our sheet that we're about to cut a vinyl. So it's a little less than 13 inches by 12. We're going to load this into our machine just like that and we're going to cut it without using Cricut Smart Vinyl. And yes, you can download any cut file you want as soon as you join. I love it. I love it. Um, Courtney, could I have the third camera of the Cricut? Or actually, could I have the share screen? I apologize. <laughs> um, do I have the share screen? Perfect. So we're going to click continue. We're connecting to our machine today via USB. We're going to click Smart Vinyl Permanent. And then now if I could have the Cricut camera. Perfect. So watch, guys. We're going to take this 13, a little bit less than 13 inch sheet of vinyl. And, oh wait, that have the wrong way. I do. Um, so we're going to take this right here, we're going to load it in. Check it out. Let's go measure, make sure we have a big enough piece. And this side right here has the edges, so I just need to scoot it over. So I may have cut it not small enough. Yeah, I had it too wide, I should have took a little bit more off. Uh, should I go ahead and take a little bit more off? What do you think? I mean, it didn't bother me the first time I tried it. We'll cut. So we'll just cut with that. I'd like to share, share you guys exactly what could happen either way. Um, welcome to Craft Camp, Patricia. Woohoo! I love it. So we're going ahead and we're going to cut out our stencil. Yay! Guys, I've only tested this live on camera. So you guys are getting the raw, the real, the whole thing just completely flawless and it's worked really really well for us so i'm super impressed we should do more craft camps yes even without the giveaway they're fun i love it now my friends if you are not already a member and this is your first time hanging out with us at a live event like we are having will you let me know in the comments i'd just like to know who mm -hmm. all is watching courtney out of how many friends do we have with us 340 right at 350 um out of the 350 or is there any newbies here let us know if you're a member let us know either way um, we love hearing from you guys 
Yeah, we're cutting regular vinyl without a mat. Could you fold over taped edges? Ooh, I like that, Rachel. We might have to try it. We might have to try that. Oh my gosh. We could probably take like masking paper or something like that and be able to rock it. That is such a good idea. I love that your crafty wheelhouse is turning. All right. It's cutting away. Elaine's a member. Yes, Craft Camp lover. Woohoo! Heather, I'm so excited. You're a monthly member, yearly member here. First timer with no membership at the moment. Amber, I would love for you to say yes to membership today or if there's anything we can do to help you, let us know. I'm a newbie to your videos. Woohoo, Shirley! Got my membership last week. I love it, my friends. All right, let's unload the Let's unload it. Let's leave it on this camera real quick. So as you can see, like this was pretty, I cut it less than 13 and it still did this. So very intriguing. I should cut it a little bit more off. One of our friends just commented, if we had it 12 inches and we took just a little masking paper or a little um, tape and put on the edge, could it work? So that's something we're going to have to test. We're clearly going to have to test that. Oh, so many fun members. I love it. All right. So let's go ahead and weed. Now, again, guys, we are using the stencil part of this. So first things first is we need to weed this big outer edge because we need this out of the way. And you could save this for another project. Um, again, I waste a ton of vinyl on live streams because they're live. It's like having, you know, a, a big audience. So we, um, you know, waste more than I would care to if I was just freely crafting with myself. I hope you guys understand that. And then one thing I like to point out is that with these new machines, I have not been having to burnish before weeding, which is like a game changer to me. I don't know if it's just where it's a new blade, if it's the new technology, if it's the new motor. Guys, I have no idea. Like literally have no idea. And you guys know I'm not paid by Cricut. I, um, you know, just share my thoughts, my honest, my honest thoughts. We are part of their affiliate program. Um, but you know, we share our honest thoughts. We have no, you know, you can buy your machine anywhere. We're more so about sharing with you guys the true and honest facts and our opinions. So look, so if you ever have this craft belt, I need this little R piece and a lot of people would freak out. What we're going to do is we're actually going to lay it back down, be very calm and collected. Okay. All right, and then you're going to lay that down. Make sure it's laying down. And then you can just continue to weed. Ta -da! Look at that. We place that back. No big deal whatsoever. So then you can be like, okay, maybe I should burnish. That's a great indicator if that happens to you that you need to be burnishing. Okay, my friends? Awesome. <coughs> Okay, look at this. Okay, and then we're going to get this last word done. Let me know if you have any questions about weeding, about cutting vinyl. Again, the membership has lots of videos on that as well. So that'll help you a ton. And then look at this. Look at this. Perfect. All right, my friends. Now we get to weed this over. So we're using masking paper transfer tape today. I love it. Weeding is so fun. Yes, it is. Anna's not a member yet. Oh my goodness. I got my first membership last August. Um, before Tanner and Courtney's wedding, but then I took advantage of the a great deal. Woohoo! Welcome, Nikki. I love that you're a yearly member now. Woohoo! And guys, this deal is an amazing one for you to take advantage of today. It's going to help you rock your membership, rock your machine, and I want to be able to craft right alongside you. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Do you find that the Smart Vinyl weeds better? So Martha, we did not use Smart Vinyl. I used Starcraft today. So this is literally Starcraft, like check this out. We cut 
matless with this. So much fun. I love masking paper transfer tape too. You guys know I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And then I'm gonna cut all this excess masking paper transfer tape off because we, since we built our shiplap uh, frame, we couldn't do the stenciling first. But if you're just doing a piece of wood as your backing, not the shiplap, you would stencil first, then add it. And this is not a font, so it is so much fun um, and I love it. So if you um, are looking to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is comment on today's um, back all the way to Sunday's video, just one comment per um, video. And then yay, no matter where you are, um, you are able to get entered to win. Um, for the rules, um, maybe we used like a standard rule, but for this giveaway, if you live outside the US, we will send you um, a machine through one of your local shipping, like through, say you're in Canada, we'll buy you a machine through you, um, the Canadian uh, Amazon or something like that to get you a machine if you win. And then if you are outside of the U like US and it would be easier to just send you funds, we would just send you funds for buying your own machine. So I hope that makes sense. Cause sometimes with like Australia and other places, we found that's just a little bit easier. So yay, we've trimmed that. And then we can go right here and throw this away. And then here we go. So we're gonna burnish the back. Love that. So, so fun. I've heard nothing but great things about StarCraft. I love it. Yay, I love it. I became a yearly membership in uh, January. Woohoo! I love it. Shirley, how awesome. You guys are awesome. Okay, look at this. Masking paper transfer tape. I love it. And I think Auntie Tay is who got me onto the masking paper transfer tape. I, I think it's the first person I ever heard really talk about it. But I was like, okay, if she uses it and loves it, like Auntie Tay sets the standard, you know what I mean? So, all right, we have our stencil. We got our frame. We're gonna place this right in here. And when you size it like this, guys, look, it's so easy to make it sure. You know, it's awesome. So just like so, we're gonna take this and lay it down here. You can check the edges, make sure all looks good. We're gonna burn it. Now we can grab our transfer tape, fill this up. And guys, I'm about to go shopping with Mama, who is excited to see Mama. If you all want to see Mama, I'll probably post a picture of us or do a little video with her um, at Walmart. So follow me on Instagram, TannerBell1023, um, so you can see Mama. If you guys have never got to see my Mama, she is literally a hoot and a half. Then we love her. So, okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to fold an extra piece of masking paper transfer tape in half. And I'm actually going to use this to put my paint. And then what we're using today is just a blue for a leg cloth. And I love masking paper transfer tape. It's great. So we're just using regular acrylic paint. Guys, this is from Apple Barrel. I would probably never use Apple, Apple Barrel acrylic paint. Um, I usually am kind of only into using um, multi-surface paint, so like folk art multi-surface or deco art multi-surface. Um, Americana decor multi-surface is great too, but this is what we had, so I'm all about just using what we got. So we got this right here, and we're not using any special brush or anything. Like literally, I would typically have so many um, you know, specifications, but again, you don't have to be fancy about it. So we're going to use a paintbrush. I dab it and then I dab some off. It's almost like dry brushing to get a good stencil technique. And then watch this. So we're going to go up and down and just paint. So this is super easy. This is a great project to let the kids do. If you place the stencil, like a great quote for their room, if you place the stencil and let them paint, um, this would be an amazing project to do with them this summer. So up and down movements, I'm not brushing, I'm up and down pouncing with the stencil. And I'm taking paint, dabbing it off my brush and continuing on, super fun. 
Yay! Awesome. Where does Mama like to shop? Where does Mama like to shop? So her method and motto is, if it's not at Walmart, she don't want it. Um, she has said that to me multiple times. We have tried to get her to do Walmart delivery and like spend our time shopping because we go shopping and hang out every week, um, like somewhere different. But she's just not really a fan. She likes her, she likes her Tom at the Wally World. So we're just stenciling around here. This might be a two coater, which if we use multi-surface paint, probably would not have been a two coater. Just saying. Or maybe it's our brush. Maybe it's both. Check this out, my friends. Or you could do, since we're kind of going with the shiplap and stuff like that, you could just do one layer um, and embrace it. Because I think it would look a little bit more nautical, a little bit more lakey. If you guys didn't know, this we just finished our lake house. So I've done quite a few lake house projects. Um, and we have still not had a completed lake house tour yet. So we'll get that for you guys. All right. I love it. I love it. I'm a newbie. So taking notes on all the tips, Grammy. Oh my gosh. I love it. If you are a newbie, you will love all the tips, but honestly, the number one thing you can do is grab our membership. If you love the content you have here on the channel, you're going to love being a member and our summer sale is going to end tomorrow at midnight. So you have to hurry before the offer is over. Okay. So there's that. I think I'm gonna just wave it out, let it dry for a little bit. Yay! If we comment more than once, do we still are able to enter the giveaway? Only one comment will be counted. I've been a member for three years. Woohoo! I love it. Thank you, Sonia. I love making stenciling for gloss etching. This is a great way to do gloss etching. Let me tell you. Love that. Great, great idea. All right. So it's drying. Um, if you have a heat tool, you can heat set it and it's super awesome. So I think we're going to just peel it up. I would um, recommend peeling it up before it completely dries. Sometimes I've had craft fills before. So look at this. Woohoo! And where the wood um, is very different, you can see it's not perfect. That is definitely a wood thing. It's definitely not your stenciling. Um, it is definitely the wood being a little bit, um, not a little textured. Stencil white first. Oh, Courtney loves doing that. So a lot of people will stencil a lot first for this wood. That's a little bit more textury. So you can see kind of bleeds a little bit. So you can get these pieces out just like so. But again, we were using the shiplap. We've been, you know, only did one coat on the, on the wood little pieces and things like that. So it's totally fun. But yeah, if you're looking for perfection really easily in crystallons, I love that little hack. It's just doing um, the white first and then your layer. So that could definitely change the game for you because anywhere where it would bleed, you know, it would be white. So whatever your background layer is. That's a great hack for stenciling on walls as well. All right. Look at this. Ta-da! And ta -da. So look at this. Boat waves, sun rays, lake days, roughly. Uh, love it. Oh my goodness. So fun. Yeah, guys, this is not something that I just make look easy. This is honestly easy and I should have wore gloves or waited for it to drop. Uh, but again, we're on camera today. So we are just crafting right along and I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh my goodness. So, so much fun. Here's my little pieces of vinyl. Um, but guys, thank you so much. This has been so much fun. We've been able to share with you five craft projects. We've been able to make a craft project. We've been able to talk about how you're going to be able to get the inside scoop to making frames. You could sell this for $30, $40 with whatever stencil that they want on there. So much fun, but you're going to be able to build it for like five to seven dollars. It's amazing and it is so, so much fun, but the fun is not over yet. 
the fun is not over yet. Tomorrow you get to come back with me because we are sublimating, right? We are sublimating. I cannot wait to sublimate with you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. 9 p.m. Eastern here on the YouTube channel. We're picking a giveaway winner for the Cricut Maker 3 or any die cutting machine of your choice. Um, and it is so much fun. But my friends, to, the party does not have to end tonight. Like the party does not have to end tomorrow. You can continue the party all day long if you grab our membership. It is very easy to join and grab a membership if you haven't already. Let me share with you how easy it is. All you need to do is go to makersgonnalearn.com slash join. When you go to makersgonnalearn.com forward slash join, this is our sign up page. My friends, how many friends do we still have with us right now? 370 guys so much fun go ahead and grab your membership click the orange button you get to choose from being a monthly member or a yearly member but when you go yearly you get the amazing discount and you unlock all the bonuses all right 10 plus courses including that frame masterclass the 30-day challenge the commercial lessons and you save more while getting um you pay less and get more, which is fantastic. So all you need to do is get registered today to take advantage of all the fun, get in the member only Facebook group, start downloading your cut files, getting ready for 52 weeks of gifts where you get new cut files every single week. So it's so much fun. Enter that coupon code make at checkout and then you will want to complete your registration. It's super easy. You can register in less than five minutes and it is uh, that simple. Courtney, can I have the main camera? I love it. I love it. Guys, thank you so much. Again, to let you all know, just to put into real terms, if you invest in a machine, I've seen a lot of comments here today saying, Tanner, I, I love my machine, but I haven't used it yet right? You love it. You want to do it and you want to rock it. If you've already invested in this, you need to invest in something that can help you master your machine, right? It's 42 cents a day. 42 cents a day will get you a year membership for a full year. Definitely an investment into your crafting future. And I promise you, I can save you more than 42 cents a day with all my craft hacks, with all our Cricut hacks. You're going to save material. You're going to flourish as a crafter and have a lot more fun while crafting but again guys this is summer camp craft camp it is so good we're giving away the cricut maker 3 don't miss out extra entries if you grab a membership all you have to do is comment on this video to be entered and subscribe to our youtube channel it's that simple so yay thank you so much i love it when you guys get to catch us live Another day, another fun. Kim says, I was on the fence about membership at first, but finally did it. And I regret that I waited. Oh, I love that. What a great testimonial. Love my membership. Absolutely love it. If you're on the fence, Courtney's dropped the link. It's the first link down below. Go to makersgonnalearn.com slash join. Select that year membership. Use the coupon code make it check out and you're going to love it. Yes, all members have an extra entry. So if you join or you're already a member, you have an extra entry. So woohoo, I love it. Um, and what is sublimation? Come back tomorrow night to learn all about sublimation as it'll be a lot of fun being able to sublimate with you guys. It is like the next level to Cricut crafting. On the Maker 3, can you still cut material? Cricut Maker 3 does cut all materials and more. Um, so I love it. I love it. So, so much fun. Yay. Paid for itself 10 times. Love it, Cheryl. Um, I've loved all classes since Sunday. Thanks, Sharon. Um, you guys are awesome. Hey, Yolanda. Um, hope you guys are having a great week. I cannot wait to see you back here tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, for sublimating and making sure you guys know who wins the new Cricut Maker 3. Bye, my friends.